For this video, I'm going to be using the bead paper. I like this because it's a 100% watercolor and it's a little um, larger than my normal Hannah Miller pad, but it gives me a lot more area to work with. There's a little bit of texture on it. It's cold pressed, but um, on the other side is a little bit more smooth. And since I have a smudge here, I'm going to just turn it over, okay? So, some of the, of the other supplies I'm going to be using um, is my um, Tule Art pens. One is size 06 and the other one is 03. Those I'll be using for the overall inking in and then later on I'll be using the Unary Ball Signo 0.28. I'll be using a couple of stencils, and the um, all the supplies I'm using are listed in the description below. So if you want to check them out, it might be a good idea. The reason I why I'm using these is because it's easy but if you don't have a stencil where you can use an any uh, for the square you can use anything that has a straight edge now I gotta find my pencil so hold on so here's my pencil but I also forgot to mention um, I'm gonna be using Cancel Arts watercolor pencils, um, but you'll see that later on. I'm gonna be using Davies Gray and maybe one or two other ones, but I'm not sure yet. This is the first time I'm doing um, a t talking while I'm drawing, uh, as opposed to. Um, a voiceover. So basically what, I, what we're going to do is draw a um, Halloween inspired design and pattern. Um, and since I like to work with geometrical shapes, I'm going to employ those today. So we have the square, we have um, a circle, and what I understand is supremely difficult to draw um, a triangle. So if you have a problem, don't worry, you're not the only one. So this is the triangle. It's Shape, but the template isn't as large as, as I want, so I'm and gonna use a hard edge, and you can use like a credit credit card or whatever. So we're just extending the boundaries, and it's it's if it's. A little off don't worry about it. we're just having fun all right so what I like to do is first 
draw in the pattern, which in this case is a series of scale-like lines, and then so it makes it easy. You can either go for this point, um, or you can go for that, or I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, so this. And then again, if you make a mistake, fine. So we have the rib of the spider web. And let's do another spider web. Like, just have fun. Obviously, the spider web is in my imagination, so it's not going to be scientifically correct. But that's okay. So, let's down row a straight line down and have a little circle one two and then one two and since spiders have eight legs we're gonna okay now you can see I'm going over the border which is fine but if you want to have your spider a little smaller or bigger, that's fine as well. So let's ink in the first one. And in this case, I'm using the small, uh, larger of the pen. And it, if you don't follow the lines exactly, that's fine. Because remember, it's all good. Now remember to rotate your paper or sketchbook, whatever towards you so that it's comfortable to doodle. Um, now I'm holding the pen close to the barrel or the point, um, but if you like to do the further away, that's fine. Some of this I will speed up so you're not bored by the slow pace of real-time doodling. And um, if you're new to my channel, Work. Welcome. If you're a returning visitor, welcome. And for the new people, hi. Um, I have a, a stroke um, last year, and I use the doodling as a form of therapy for my hands and I mean I've been doodling for basically my whole life um, so see the spider goes over the edge but back to my stroke it's, my, it's a matter of me being able 
to speak. I have to retrain myself to talk, and it's a process, so hopefully you'll bear with me. So, what I like to do is, is to round out areas that where the one or two lines meet up, that's because it's, one, it's very relaxing, but also it adds a little more weight to the doodle. So it's like not the same thickness throughout your doodle. I know it might be a little strange, but go ahead and, and give it a try. I think you're, you're going to like it. And for the spider web, it adds a kind of a airy effect. Okay, so. So this would be a, a grid, great idea for when you're bored and you don't know what to do. Um, it's a basic size that you can get away with without people knowing what you're doing. Okay. So that's the first one. Now I generally speaking you what you do if um most pens the ink dries quickly, but in some cases, especially if you have a lot of ink, um give it a few seconds to um dry. Now I want to finish it off and if your hands are shaking that's okay because nobody will know. So what I suggest is it's easier to if you have a straight line Pull it towards you as opposed to up. And I'm continuing the etchers here as well as along the spider. Again, it kind of adds to it. See? Okay, now on to the next example. With the circle, I'm going to basically do the same design but a little differently. I don't know how much, but We'll see, but this part will be sped up. So, take your time when you're doing this, because this is sped up.
So again, I am going over the um, the lines with the large one. Okay. The lines or the cables for the spider web. And you can see I decided to cut out a lot of the extra lines. Okay. And again, don't worry about your circle being imperfect because nothing in life is perfect. Actually, everything in life is perfect. You just have to change your perspective. Okay, so continuing with this. Besides, I think the six sections that are wonky add dimension so it's cool. So, same thing about rounding out the edges. Now you can still do this um, version of the spider web. Um, again, it's very relaxing, especially what's coming up. But I'm, right now I'm rounding out the edges. And a little bit of round the spider. And if you don't want to do this, that's fine. It works w just as well. Okay. So I'm going to re um, erase stuff. I'll be right back. So as you can see, I've lowered my camera so you can see better what I'm going to be doing. And basically, you can... Keep it as it is, but you can also start um, doodling within the er actually the edges, which is why I didn't do the cross beams. And the idea here is use your favorite patterns and since I like hearts I'm gonna include some of these okay but again you can do it ever design you want As you can see, the basic line here gets kind of lost, so I'm going to thicken up it up. But if you want to do it differently, that's fine. Again, I what I'm doing here is just giving you an example at what you can do.
in fact, the chances are is that your doodle will be totally different than mine, even if you follow my my lead. Okay, um, what I like to do sometimes is use a smaller one and or point is because um, it changes the look of the work. Sorry, don't spay, just spray it. Now with this, I'm using um, a finer point because this is in the background and this is uh, in the foreground. So I want to differentiate between the two. And what I wanted to do is one of my favorite um, filler um, patterns is kind of a series of intersection um, weave pattern. So every so often, maybe three or four lines. Okay, so that one, another one you can try is what I call the wave. And it's basically a series of interconnecting wavy lines. You can have it as fine as you want or as open like this, okay? And not to worry about that line, we can incorporate it. And it And another one I like to do when I do uh, detailing is it's kind of like um, these, but it's all going in basically the same direction, but you have gaps. And here I'm just giving a, you a couple of different background ideas. You can do the spider web um, with this one or this one or this one, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Just make sure you have fun. So I want to do a little bit of detailing um, on the spider. So. Again, you can do whatever you want. Okay. Looking good. So, another one that I like is called stippling. Basically, it's a series of dots lots of dots it just adds more dimensions You start off like um, space, 
is large around the dots and then you close up ranks and make the dots closer to each other. It's, it's a cool technique, but I think you'll like if it. Give it a chance. It's this various, very um, tedious, but the payout is great. And a little a bit around the spider so it incorporates everything. Okay, that's good. What do you think? For this one, I wouldn't necessarily um, say you can doodle it um, on the fly when you're um, at work or at home. Well, you can do it at home, but on the bus or waiting in line. Um, but you can add color uh, to your doodle um, this time I'm going to do a little bit of the spider webs. Okay, and then down here, because you can do it again any way you want, but Okay, so the uh, pencil is done, and again, I'm going to use the broad, broader tip for the spider and illustration. Again, if you go over your lines, that's fine. Okay. And then we persisting the paper so it's easy to work with. And have fun doing the um, lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. Done, it's better than per per perfect. Because the next time you do it will be different. Okay. So, you can tell that I went 
over a little bit, so we're incorporating and round out. Okay. I, I love the um, the rounding out. It's it really relaxed me, is me. Okay. So if you like this drawing or doodle and want to see more of my doodles, subscribe and remember to hit the bell notification. That way you will be uh, notified when I upload another video. This is basically um, one or more a week. It depends on my schedule is like my doctor's or appointment or whatever. So thanks for, I, this is not over yet. So I'm not going to say thank you because I don't want to, to miss out and on the next one, uh, next steps. So and even though the spider looks menacing when you round out the edges it becomes more approachable so i'm going to get rid of the pencil marks and i will be back so with this one, I'm going to um, be including a little bit of watercolor pencils. These are from the what is this called? Castle Arts. And again, the link will be in the description. Okay, so... You can now. I'm not a color, watercolor um, book coloring book person, um, but I, I mean, I started with um water watercolor um like 40 years ago but this is um life changes and you um use different stuff and experiment so i'm trying um watercolor pencils because when I started my watercoloring I used Windsor no Newton the Cotman series um, and then although I was later told it, it was um, a not professional grade but it it didn't matter because I was able to accomplish what I wanted to do. So even though the Castle Arts isn't the priciest or more ex most expensive, it does 
um, the, the job I needed to do. And before I forget, I just realized I don't have the spider web connected to my spider. So, good. So you can add just um, a colored pencil, but since I like what medium, I'm going to do it with a watercolor pencil, and I'm going to use the, my um, water pens. This is new to me because I use the um, brushes. But it works. By water, by applying a little bit of color you change the look of your doodle. Now a lot of um, doodle people use graphite and um, a blending stump to gradate the um, the color for the pencil, but I like the smoothness of watercolor. The only problem is now I have to wait until the watercolor the water uh, dries so that's the only downside of using watercolor so I'll be back to apply more color so I'm going to resharpen my color watercolor pencil I use this one sorry it's a little dirty but it's a great pencil sharpener and it doesn't use a lot of shaping so i'm going to apply a bit more watercolor pencil Another thing I like about using watercolor is for um, shaving is because when you use colored pencil, well, we would use um, graphite and you would smooth it out, um, it, it makes it a little shiny when you smudge it out and although it's okay I don't like it so that's why I use the uh, watercolor pencils in a future video I um, will use watercolor itself um, as well as um, neo color twos which are um, water soluble, but that's for uh, another video. So I'm basically just applying a little 
shaving. Very little pressure. Because I'll a little bit goes a long way. So now you can stick with this as it is, or you can lose a bit more water. But again, you if you lose more water, um it's not going to damage the paper, it's just going to take a little longer for the water to dry. So this is the three ways of doodling um, a spider web. I hope you have enjoyed it and got inspired today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.